everyone, I'm Kate Retzel, I'm the principal of Lee Elementary School. Uh, we are ready to get started with you this year. Our friends at school have made a nice video for you, so let's put our masks on and go in and see what the building looks like now. We are so excited to see you back in the building this year. We want to show you a few things that are going to be new and different. There are three main entrances into the building and we'll only be using two of them this year. This is our main entrance that you see here, which leads into the main office. This is where parent pickup and parent drop off will take place. If you take a bus to school, you will enter and exit the building in the back of the school right here. We're going to do a little pretending. Here's Miss Curtin, a first grade teacher. We're going to pretend that she's a student getting dropped off after riding the bus. She started at a blue line and when an adult told her it's time to go inside, she's going to go in through the back doors. You'll notice right away that there are arrows on the floor so Miss Curtin knows which direction she should be walking. Doing a little more pretending, here comes Mrs. Carlino getting dropped off at the main entrance. Notice how she already has her mask on before she goes into the building. Don't forget to say goodbye to your loved ones. She'll go in the main doors in the front of the building. This is where the front office is located. There are arrows here too to help Mrs. Carlino know which way to go. There are lots of one-way traffic arrows that you'll see around the building. There are many hallways that are only one way. Sometimes you'll see a two-way street with blue tape in the middle. If you see blue tape, don't cross over. Just keep your body moving in the direction of the arrow. We have some other signs up too to remind you to stay socially distant and to be wearing your mask. It can be tricky learning how to move around the building at first, but don't worry, there will always be adults around to help you. Let's do a little pretending again. Remember Miss Curtin? We're going to pretend that she is a second grade student. Let's follow her from the bus to the classroom. You'll notice that this is a one-way staircase and Miss Curtin is moving her body the same way that the arrows are pointing. There are other staircases that are down staircases too. When Miss Curtin makes it to the second floor, we can see many of the teachers who have their classrooms on the second floor. This floor is for grades two, three, four, five, and six, along with many specialists. Here's the art room, some second grade classrooms, as we continue on in this hallway, there are some third grade classrooms. Turning the corner, we'll find fourth grade and fifth grade too. Here are some specialists, followed by our sixth grade classrooms. We'll say goodbye to Miss Curtin here to come full circle and see the rest of the specialists on the second floor. Here comes Miss Carlino again getting dropped off at the main entrance. We're going to pretend that she is in kindergarten. Don't forget to say goodbye to your loved ones in the car. When she enters the building, She's following her arrows. Here we see some specialists and our librarian. Turning the corner, we see our first grade teachers, except for Miss Curtin. She was dropping Mrs. Carlino off. Here are some kindergarten classrooms. We'll leave Miss Carlino here so we can see the rest of our teachers on the first floor. There was our music teacher, our pre-K and Head Start classrooms, and more specialists around the corner. We also have some great front office staff who can't wait to see you. Once you get into your classroom, you'll be spending almost all of your day in that one place. You'll be learning great things by some amazing educators. You'll still have specials in your classrooms or PE outside. You'll go outside for recess. You'll have lunch inside of your classrooms and you'll have mask breaks throughout your day. A mask break will look different depending on your teacher, but it's a time for you to take your mask off. You might stay seated at your desk or you might take a walk outside. 
there might also be a time where you need to visit the nurse. We have a new nurse this year, Mrs. Salvatore. Her office is around the corner in the back of the main office. When the school day is over and it's time to go home, we will have a few things that will be different. The first group of students who will be dismissed over the loudspeaker will be the students who are walking to the middle and high school for parent pickup. You've already been notified if this applies to you. These students will wait on the blue lines to walk down the hill with a para. They will walk around the back of the middle and high school to the side of the auditorium. Let's watch Miss Warner walk around LMHS. Once you get around the auditorium entrance, you will wait for your ride on another blue line. We ask that parents pull up in a single line of cars instead of pulling around the car in front of you to get to your child. Thank you so, so much for your patience as we are trying something new for parent pickup to reduce the traffic that we have at the elementary school. The next group of students to be called over the loudspeaker will be students who are being picked up at the elementary school. These students will make their way to the front of the building where they will wait on blue lines for their parent or guardian to pick them up. Finally, there will be a group of bus students. If you ride a bus at home at the end of the day, your teacher will bring you to the back of the school to find the correct bus. We can't wait to see you soon and welcome you back into the building.